So what I'm really excited about in dermatologic laser surgery right now is the ability to use combination treatments to help the aging face. So for instance, on the same day, we can use either a um, micro-focused ultrasound technology or radio frequency technology to tighten the skin and to improve the jawline and lift the brow. At the same time, resurface the skin, improving their uh, fine lines and wrinkles, pores, um, uh, lentigenes. It's very convenient for the patients to do this and they see results faster than they would have had they done those treatments separately. When doing combined treatments, we can keep the energies just as high as we would with the separate treatments. We find those are very safe and well tolerated. So it's, it's really a win-win situation for both the patient and the physician. There are a lot of exciting advances in the laser treatment of scars right now. We've known since the 1990s that pulse dye laser has been very helpful to treat erythematous and hypertrophic scars. But we also have a host of other lasers now that can improve upon what we did with the pulse dye laser. Ablative fractional laser resurfacing has been used for uh, burn scars very successfully. What we find with these scars is that less is more. So when treating a burn scar, we're treating with high energy but very low density, less than 5% density and just one single non-overlapping pass. And by doing so, we're able to do the treatment with just topical anesthesia alone, speed the healing, and we get immediate increased range of motion and improvement of the scar with a single treatment and a series of treatments gives us that much more improvement. It's been really, really very exciting um, technology. And it can, be, it can be combined with pulse dye laser to help improve the erythema even more. Of course, we have to set patient expectations because we cannot erase scars with a laser, no matter how many laser treatments we do. So we have to set those expectations up front so patients realize what we can and can't do with a laser. But we have come such a long way with our ability to treat not only the cosmetic aspect of scars, but also the functional aspect of scars as well. My two favorite lasers are the pulse dye laser because of its versatility. You can treat rosacea and T langectasia. You can treat sun damage. I can treat uh, birthmarks, port wine stains, hemangioma. I can also treat um, scars, erythematous and hypertrophic scars. So a very versatile laser. I would say I probably use it in my practice maybe eight to ten times a day. My second favorite laser, workhorse in the office I couldn't do without, is my non-ablated fractional resurfacing laser. So this laser I can use for fine lines and wrinkles. I can use for other types of sun damage. I also can use it to blend in scars on the body. Um, I also use the non-ablative fractional resurfacing laser as an aid in tattoo removal. After a series of tattoo removal treatments with Q-switched lasers, you may see a little bit of what's called hypopigmentation, a little ghosting in the area. Using a non-ablative fractal, I found very helpful to help blend in the tattoo to get that much more cosmetic improvement at the end of a treatment course. Bringing lasers into a dermatology practice takes a bit of research. You have to make sure that you have the patient, the patient interest there. If you are treating a, a large general um, dermatology practice, do you have a lot of, say, rosacea patients? That may be something you want to bring in a pulse dye laser for because you can better serve those patients by, by being able to treat the next component of their rosacea, not just with topicals and oral medication. Um, you have to assess your own patient population to see if it'll support bringing those laser in because it's not just the purchasing of the laser, it's the maintenance of the laser, it's the training on the laser. And lasers, after several years, you have to check the laser that you're, you're bringing into the practice because they may become obsolete. So you really want to do your homework before just thinking that a laser is automatically going to be a good investment for you. But the future of lasers in dermatology, for me, I think is going to be we're going to hear a lot more about the non-cosmetic use of lasers in dermatology. So laser enhanced drug delivery. So using a laser just to make the, make the wells to get uh, a drug deeper into the skin. And we can use that in non-cosmetic ways. We're also seeing now using lasers to improve the function of the skin. So to heal chronic wounds. Wounds that hadn't healed for a year. All of a sudden you do a, a single pass with a very low density ablative fractional resurfacing laser will heal up within two weeks. There's a lot of exciting research going on on the non-cosmetic side with lasers right now, and I think that's what we're gonna be hearing about quite a bit in the next five years.